Prepper Food Storage Tips. Today, we're going to learn how to check your stocks and give you a closer look at the books that you all asked me about. Hi, it's Janie Pendleton from Our Little Homestead. Now, next on the list, I just want to say number one, set your clocks and check your stocks. Set your clocks, check your stocks. So, and there's the family uh, workstation. So there's all kinds of places for me to put it on there to check the stocks in my pantry. And that's exactly what I do. On time, every couple of weeks, I check my uh, freezer. I check recipes that will work with the freezer foods I have left. You guys have been watching me do my homestead journaling and all this for years, right? You've seen me doing it for years. So, um, so with keeping a homestead journal, I suggest that you do that. Um, I suggest that you keep, go over there and watch that. Matter of fact, I'll try to link that here below. And I know some of my links aren't making it on. I apologize. I went back and tried to put them on. So um, just some problems I'm having with YouTube, but that's okay. We're going to get through it. Um, I'll, I'll put the links down in the show more section or in the comment section if I can't get them there. So far, they've been going in the show more section. Set your clocks and check your stocks. Check your uh, jars, make especially tomatoes, especially if you water bath can them. I always pressure can tomato products. Uh, some people think, oh, that overcooks them, but I do that because that way I don't have mold or uh, pop lids or botulism later on. Tomatoes are just that fine line of the amount of acidity, and I don't like to add extra acidity if I don't have to. I just feel better when I pressure can tomatoes. You know, unless you've got a lab kitchen and some pH drips, you really don't know what the pH in that particular tomato is. Yellow tomatoes have less acidity than a red tomato. So that's why with stomach problems, I've always eaten yellow tomatoes for the most part. You know, those little yellow pear tomatoes on my salads. When I eat a raw tomato, I go yellow. Less acidity, less stomach aches. So, you know, less heartburn and things. So you might want to try that as well. A lot of people don't know that about tomatoes. So here on our little homestead, we're here about making your life easier and sharing tips and uh, tricks with each other. And a lot of you have came through and you give me a lot of good tips in return. And I appreciate it. It's like fair trade. Maybe someday we'll be back to the fair trade society, you know, a society of just trading again. I find that to be interesting and fun. But, you know, that's me though. I've got that, that Amish mentality, I guess. But... Now, in a minute, we're going to go over um, emergency preparedness and what it is that you need to know about emergency preparedness. All right, we're going to go over that in a minute. But I've been asked to show a couple of books first. I don't normally do this, but I've been asked to show a couple of books a second time. Uh, so that way, uh, people are trying to find them and they couldn't find them. This is the Ultimate Survival uh, Medicine Guide. And this is by Joseph Alton. See that? By Joseph Alton. And I got this book, at, I got this one at Tractor Supply, I do believe, but it is a Sky Horse Publishing Incorporated, Sky Horse Publishing Incorporated, and look for the Ultimate Survival Medicine Guide. That's what it looks like. Let me hold that down, make sure you're seeing it. All right, you got that one? This book is excellent. It has altitude sickness, coming up from a dive too quickly, uh, fungal infections, um, uh, dislocations and strains, everything you need to know in an emergency and you don't have a doctor around or you can't get to the hospital on a trail hike or something so quickly, teach you how to set an arm, a bone, you name it, okay? So that's a really good book to keep around. And um, where is my military? Oopsie doopsie. Where did I do with that? I had my military guide right here. Um, I'll, I'll find that here in just a minute. All right, the next one up, and I'm going to do this in order as I did the last time. The Welcome to the Farm. Okay. Welcome to the Farm and How to Wisdom from the Elliott Homestead. All right, that's what it looks like. I got it at Tractor Supply, and it came from Lion Press. That's L-Y-O-N, Lion Press. And it's an imprint of Globe Products. Or no, of Globe. Sorry, I need my glasses. I need my ring glasses. And you can find it at www.roman, R-O-W-M-A-N.com. And it's distributed by 
National Book Network, 1-800-462-6420. Uh, All right, that's their phone number. And let me get that to you up close. There we go. All right. And that's uh, a welcome. That's a farm. That's the farmstead book that you guys were asking me about. All right. The next one up is Home Remedies from Country Doctors. Okay. I got this at Tractor Supply. It's by multiple doctors, and it is by uh, it's by Skyhorse Publishing as well. So that would be under the same phone number as the, um, it's published by the same company that published this one. So you can pick these two up at the same time. All right, and, um, and it's just uh, home remedies from country doctors. Can you see that better now? Over 1,400 drug-free country-tested remedies. And it's just set up like this right here. A good book to have on hand and this right here is called the organic country home handbook okay and it's by good books sky horse publishing so again you can get this book from the same place you can get the survival guide book and the uh, home remedies from country doctors book so you can pick them all up at the same time and uh, and this is um, and you can go to www.goodbooks.com to pick this one up. Even though it's by the same publisher, you can go to this place and probably pick it up. But the Organic Country Home Handbook, and I want to show this to you. See, it's just got some kid stuff in here. Just organic and natural ways to clean and sterilize in, um, and in each room in the house. Okay, so that's basically it. It's each room in the house. Let me give you an example. Um, your oven overflows, and it's called the Oops Cleaner. Um, stove top cleaner for glass tops and for gas tops. Uh, odor eater, refrigerator, interior spray, and odor absorber. Uh, seasoned uh, Ways to season your cast iron, so it teaches you how to do that. Um, sea spot run, spot remover. There you go. So just a few little ideas like that and your stuffed animal waterfall adventure wash. Okay, so just some cute names for it and um, Bites Be Gone Anti-Itch Paste. All right, this is just a really good book to have. A lot of my recipes are in here as well. So, I mean, a lot of these recipes are floating around Pinterest. So, I mean, I'm sure this person didn't create these recipes all on their own. But she did put them together in a great one place location and added some of her hints and tips and i think that's what's so great about this book okay it's just awesome and it uses very few ingredients and ingredients i can still find online and at some stores it's ingredients that you would probably have around your house now for when i'm sad and upset or just when i'm trying to cheer myself up through hard times I always lean, you know what I mean, on my faith. And I just want to share just one piece of this with you. I know a lot of you aren't religious, and that's fine. But for those of you who are, I just want to share this one little piece with you. I believe songbook. All right, my mom got this through Guidepost, and maybe you can find one out there on eBay or something. And it's Amazing Grace, Blessed Assurance. All the, all the songs that I grew up with in church. And uh, the words, the music to it, and my mom gave this to me, and John and I sang them and brought back a lot of memories for us all the way home. And it was a sad day for us. I'm not going to say why, but it was a sad day for us. And um, I was getting through um, some family illnesses that were hitting me all at once, and I was just trying to stay focused. And so we, and then the house sale fell through, as you know, because of some scammer that scammed my buyers. So we had to renew their offer but they're still trying to find a buyer so uh, warnings out there about that if you got your house for sale this guy is still floating around out there but in the suite by and by and just a closer walk with thee you know some like michael rode the boat ashore um just as i am near to uh, near my god uh, to thee and oh happy day and my favorite rock of ages 
and uh, will the circle be unbroken? So these are just some really great, I mean here, I guess it came with the CD and this gives you the words actually that you could sing along with the CD, but my mom said she couldn't find her CD that went with it and that's okay because John is a very good singer and, um, and I got him to sing with me.